I want to welcome you to the Golden Ball Tavern Museum. This is an opportunity to invite you to come and learn. We've been very fortunate to have Linda Wiseman work with us for many years, helping us make the decisions that help flesh out the story that we tell here at the museum. It has been a wonderful ride to go through the years of working at this house. And we, of course, are the beneficiaries of all of this. Please join us at the Golden Ball Tavern Museum. We're standing in the tap room of the Golden Ball Tavern Museum, and we are showing what it was like in the 1700s, but we're also living up to our mission and showing how the house and this room changed through time. And I'm gonna let Linda tell you that story. Uh, what we're trying to do here is not negative teach. We don't wanna say, this was what it was, but it doesn't look like that. We're trying to show, as Joan says, both sections. So the half of the room that's towards the Boston Post Road is showing the way it looked when it was a tavern in the 1760s and 70s. And then in the 1790s, it became a private house solely, no, no tavern. So this room probably became the dining parlor. The fireplace was changed. And, uh, and as it is customary in New England, the, the commercial part of a house became the dining room because it was the larger room in the house. So what we have tried to do with the help of Richard Nylander, who was with SPNEA, which is now Historic New England, is to divide the room to both the uh, 18th and the early 19th century. So the front part of the house is the tavern part and the back around the fireplace with a federal mantle and a federal clock and federal sofa, we are showing the way the house looked in the federal period and hope that it is clear. The factual bar was put in after we found the traces in the ceiling showing where the original one was and this was built recently for a TV film uh, depicting Weston in the revolutionary period. <laughs>